PianoLessons.com, the number one name in piano lessons online. Hi, I'm Nate Bosch with PianoLessons.com. Today I'm going to teach you how to read sheet music. Now, in learning how to play piano by ear, we're listening to the notes that we're hearing and we're applying it to what we see on the keyboard. Now, what we want to be able to do is read those notes, be able to visualize what we're actually doing on the piano. Now, a good starting point is middle C. Sort of kind of where we start when we're learning about scales and all that kind of thing. Well, that middle C is sort of our starting point when we're looking at sheet music. Now, for piano, we have horizontal lines. You'll see them. There's two sets of horizontal lines on a, on a, on a sheet of paper there. Now, those horizontal lines are called staves. Now, the vertical lines that break up those staves are called bar lines, and those sections are called measures. So we've got staves with bar lines, measures. Now, the top of those staves is all of the notes above middle C. The bottom staff indicates all of the notes below middle C. And when you're writing it, generally if you have a staff on top of each other and you put a line in between and a circle on it, that, that circle you could call the note C. So, if that's C and you go up a step, we get to the first line on the top staff. Now the first line in the stop, top staff is an E. If you skip to the next line, we get a G. To the next line, a B. The next line, a D, and then an F. Well, you can remember E, G, B, D, F, or to help you remember, just remember this. Every good boy deserves fudge, or food, or whatever you want to put there. But every good boy deserves fudge. So that's the notes that we find written on the lines in the staff. Now, the spaces in between that we find, well, if we can look there on the piano, we see, so the spaces in between are the notes in between those ones right there. So, F is the first space, go up, A, then C, then E. So it spells the word face, F-A-C-E. So we have every good boy deserves fudge, and the word face, F-A-C-E. So you're thinking, well, that takes care of all of the white keys. How do we show when we want to, say we want to make a G sharp on there? Well, this is what a sharp symbol looks like. So we would put, write the note on the G line, and we would put that sharp symbol in front of it. And there you have it. Now, for a flat, we're coming down and we're playing in the key of F, for example, and we have a B flat in there. How would you write that? Well, on the B line, you write a note and you put this symbol in front of it. That is a flat symbol. So, we'll just let's review that a little bit. We've got the lines that show us the notes E, G, B, D, and F. Then we have the spaces that show us the notes F, A, C, and E. We've got a sharp symbol. And what that does is, if you want to raise the note, I'll just add another point here. If we we're going to raise the G, one semitone, we're going to raise it so that's a sharp. So you'd put a sharp symbol in front of it. Now if we're going to lower a note, a semitone, like the B, we're going to lower it, you put a flat symbol in front of it. So now we've taken care of all of the notes. But that's just the right hand. Now if we go below middle C, now we get the left hand. So in the right hand the lines were E, G, B, D, and F. Every good boy deserves fudge. Now if we start in the left hand, it goes up a step. We start with G as the bottom line. B, D, F, and A, the top line. So you could use the same, same words we use there and just say, good boys deserve fudge always. Easy way to 
remember that. And then we get to the spaces. So we've got A, C, E, G. And you could use something like all cows eat grass, just to help you remember that. So we've got G, B, D, F, and A. Those are the lines. And now for the spaces, A, C, E, and G. So there's a little crash course on how to read sheet music. If you need some more information, you can rewatch the video or refer to some of the resources found below.